Hi everyone, it's Jerry. If you enjoy chess and physics, this game is likely of interest to you. In 1933, Princeton, USA, Albert Einstein played against Robert J. Oppenheimer. Einstein was white in this game and opened with e4. Oppenheimer replied e5. Knight f3, knight c6, and Einstein now elects the most theoretical opening in chess, namely the Roy Lopez or Spanish game with the bishop b5. That bishop is kicked back to b3. Knight f6 ensues with pressure on e4. This is ignored. White instead focuses on development, focuses on potentially the gain of time with uh, rook to e1 should this pawn be captured, and it is. Knight takes e, rook e1. d5 reinforces the central knight, and now a4. Uh, following the general principle of trying to open the position up when you have a lead in development, or creating pawn tension, in other words. Um, white looks to exploit uh, maybe this pin on the A file after A takes B, but the move itself, A4, is ill-timed because of how black could have been replying. In the game we saw something reasonable enough, B4, keeping the position closed, but what was best is to ignore the threat on B5 and instead develop Bishop C5 and put pressure on F2, to which there's not a good reply. What's objectively best is to, it's a sad move to have to make, but to have to return the rook to f1 is probably best. Uh, playing to e2 to defend laterally and say, well, I'm going to keep my rook still in this half-open file, is now met with bishop g4, and this white kingside pawn formation is going to get crushed soon enough with bishop takes knight. Uh, so we didn't see that. We didn't see bishop c5 in response to this a4 move. And so a4, again, not, not the best move. What would have been better than a4? Well, what would have been better is knight c3, development, with pressure on the one piece that's finding itself in your territory. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and I'm showing this particular variation for a few reasons. One, it'll draw our attention to patience in chess. Another is pawn structure. And, well, the third thing, we actually get to see some interesting fireworks. There's a cool uh, combination that I came across when I was reviewing for this game with the help of a computer. So I'll show you those three things uh, right now. So should this move have come about, knight c3 and its capture and the recapture, what do you do right now as black? Because both of these pawns are hit twice. Bishop and queen converging on d5, knight and rook converging on e5. You can only save one. Suppose black chooses to save this one. If you'd like to, pause the video. How would you reply as white in this position? Okay, the move knight takes e is very tempting, but let's see what's wrong with it. Knight takes knight, rook takes knight, c6, reinforces d5. Seems so simple, but let's look even closer because this pawn structure alone is fantastic because it kills this bishop on b3. Because of this pawn structure and its control over c4, this bishop struggles to do anything constructive for the remainder of the game. It's important to recognize that and uh, not go right in for this capture on e5, but instead to be more patient. Recognize the potential stronghold that black can be forming against your not so healthy pawn structure, not not so healthy doubled c pawns, and this bishop that's caught in the middle of it. So what do you do instead of taking on e5? You play something like a4, trying to soften up this queenside structure, maybe looking to capture, capture on a8, divert the queen away from defensive d5. If rook to b8, well now here comes this tactical sequence that I was talking about, these fireworks. Again, with the help of a computer, I was um, finding these. Queen d7, defending the knight. Notice how there are these exchange sacrifices that come about, where this knight now pounces on this black position, hitting the queen. Queen d6 is, well, now it's met with bishop f4. If you avoid that with queen b6, now out of the blue comes this knight takes f7, giving more material. Queen f3, check. This is getting very crazy. If the king is going to the e file, there's queen takes d. All sorts of stuff for white. Rook e5, although white is down a full rook in this position, this black king is dead. There's rook g5 stuff, queen h5, mate, mate threats in the air. 
if h6 so the king could try to run away here comes the bishop threats of um, bishop to e4 rook takes e6 if bishop takes bishop queen f5 stuff there's no good defense for black in this position in short and again this is just a variation i wanted to show to highlight those three things uh, these fireworks that we just saw the pawn structure and being a little bit patient with going right in for this material grab on e5 getting the material back we didn't see any of that we didn't see knight c3 in this game a4 instead b4 is the reply and now d3 knight c5 pressure on this bishop knight takes e5 if knight takes knight the rook will take and then you're actually losing on d5 so knight takes knight was not played in this position instead it was knight e7 queen f3 threatening Something very direct, a mate in one on f7. f6 defends against the mate, but this is a big lemon. This is uh, not a good move. Best is bishop e6. Because of this f6 move, this king is dead. This weakens this diagonal, and white pounces on it right away. Queen h5. This knight, um, best not block because you have this discovered stuff going on. So g6 was played, knight takes g pins everywhere where we actually get to see a ton of different pins in this game exploiting the pins on the e file the h file right here after the knight is captured the rook is dead there's no good solution for black in this position and uh, white is now in this uh, the wonderful position of being able to pick your favorite way to go about winning knight takes bishop is what follows pawn recaptures queen d6 another pin is going on on this eighth rank King gets out of that. Bishop takes, bishop b7, another pin now on this seventh rank. The rook is there to defend. White is getting all their pieces working now with knight d2. c5, the other piece, all their pieces are working right now for white. Rook to d1, opposite the king. a5, knight c4, very nice move, hitting the queen. If she has to move, then more material will fall. Pawn takes knight. Pawn takes another pin now against the black queen. Queen takes rook, rook takes queen. The king is kicked away from the defense of the knight. Bishop takes knight and black gives up at this point, resigning. So a very interesting game, again, for those of you who are interested in uh, physics, I imagine, especially. And if you'd like to, in the comment section below, feel free to share what you think uh, the rating or the strength of both players uh, are. So... Uh, that's all for this video. As always, I hope you got something out of it. Take care. Bye.